Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's good to see you all here. I, I could sense the excitement. My name is Elizabeth Pizzuto, and I'm the Chief Court Administrator, and it's my pleasure to welcome you here today to the swearing in of our 20 new Superior Court judges and our two new family support magistrates. This is a diverse and talented group who successfully completed their four weeks of intensive pre-bench training and have now been on the bench for about a month. And the reports I hear from the field is that they are all doing well. So that's good news for the very early start of their career. Um, so we're gonna get underway and what I would like to do is ask that we all rise as we invite in the new judges and magistrates. And if you feel like applauding, that's appropriate as well. So everyone may be seated. And I promise you that will be the only time you have to stand for them when they enter the room. <laughs> promise. So now it's my very distinct honor and pleasure to introduce to you our Supreme Court Chief Justice, Richard A. Robinson. You shouldn't have told me they have to stand. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Um, before I start my remarks, I have to say something that uh, I was talking to Judge Bazzuto about a couple of minutes ago. I looked into this crowd and saw how diverse it is, how it looks like America, how it looks like our state. This is incredible. I actually go all over the country training judges and doing different programs. I've never seen anything that looks like this, where the judges reflect the population so well. And I have to thank people like Governor Lamont for making sure that that happens and that we keep doing this because that builds confidence in our court system, Governor. So thank you so much for all that you do. I want to begin by thanking Governor Lamont, who will address us momentarily, for his unwavering support of the judiciary. Governor, we remain especially appreciative of your support during the budget process. Your assistance truly made the difference. And to you, our new judges and magistrates, we are happy to have you on board. And that look of fear in your face is just, <laughs> you know, you, you should actually keep that because it'll keep you humble. Um, but yeah, I, I've had that look of fear and I've been a judge for 23 years now. Um, so yeah, every, every time I come out. <laughs> Becoming a judge or magistrate is a huge change personally and professionally. Perhaps the biggest change is the tremendous impact you will have on those who come before you. When you think about it, you will make a decision that affects people's liberty, their families, their finances. It does not get more personal than that. And yours is a responsibility that carries great weight. So going forward, as someone who has been around for a long time, and my speechwriter put that in there, I didn't. I have not been around for a long time like that. <laughs> I've been around for a moderate around time. Um, I have three suggestions. First, don't be afraid to ask for guidance from your fellow judges and magistrates. This can be a demanding job and there's nothing wrong with talking to a more experienced judge or magistrate who has been there and done that. Someday, you may be, well be the one giving advice to a newer colleague. Second, stay grounded. People might stand up for me when I walk into a room, but I can assure you that my wife Nancy does not extend such formalities. <laughs> Family and friends keep us humble and never let us forget where we came from. They also will provide refuge from the storm when, not if, you make a controversial or unpopular decision. Finally, always respect the important role that you have. Even if a case is not important to others, it means the world to the involved parties. So never forget that basic rule of engagement. No matter who is standing before you, they deserve your full attention and your respect. Temperament matters. Even if you rule against someone, what you want, the <coughs> excuse me, what you want to tell them to remember most is that, that you were treated well. I would now like to turn over the podium to our governor, Governor Lamont.
Thank you, Chief. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're, I know you're as proud of these folks as I am, your mom or dad or kids or family or husband or wife. Um, took a long time. We were sitting in my office just talking. It seems like years ago. And, um, and here you are, and we really need you. Uh, you know, we had a bit of a backlog after uh, COVID, and um, we're catching up. But we can't catch up without uh, each and every one of you doing what you know is right. I'll pick up where the chief left off. Um, we had the memorial service for uh, Lowell Weicker yesterday, and uh, Lowell was um, sometimes by himself a champion for the Constitution. And a lot of people are champions of the Constitution, are champions of law when it's convenient, but not always when it's the right thing to do. And that's why we have the courts, and that's why each and every one of you are here, to make sure that you, you rule in favor without fear or prejudice and stand up. And I, I'm not an expert on the law. I relied on people to tell me that you were um, experts in the law, but I really care about is the people as well. And that's where what the chief said makes a lot of meaning to me, that um, when you're in that courtroom, you're treated with respect, you treat everybody else with respect. As the chief said, you're grounded, and you understand the law, but you also understand where people are coming from. And in this complicated day and age, it's more important than ever that we just don't just rule, but we explain why we rule, and why it's important, and why we made the decisions that we make. And um, I remember our conversations with each and every one of you, like yesterday, although it was ages ago. And um, good you've been practicing for over a month. I thought I was swearing you in today, but um, <laughs> I'm still figuring this all out. So with that, Elizabeth, yes. would you please stand? Superior Court judges, would you please stand and raise your right hand? Do you solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Connecticut so long as you continue a citizen thereof, and that you will faithfully discharge, according to law, the duties of the Office of Superior Court Judge to the best of your abilities so help you God. Judges? I, I will now ask the two family support magistrates to stand so that I may administer the oath of office. And by the way, congratulations. Thank you. So the same as last time. Do you solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Connecticut so long as you continue a citizen thereof, and that you will faithfully discharge, according to law, the duties of the Office of Family Support Magistrate to the best of your abilities, so help you God. Magistrate? Yes. Congratulations. Thank you, Governor Lamont. So um, now is an opportunity for each of our new judges and family support magistrates to have your picture taken with the governor. Um, so I'm going to call you up one at a time. I think it's probably in alphabetical order, Judge Alterman. And um, Governor, if you please stand over on the X that's on the floor. Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> we've, trained, we've trained the judges to where they have to go. <laughs> so first judge up, the Honorable Mark T. Altermat. And, and family, please feel free to take pictures. The Honorable Maura L. Buckley. T turn for a picture. The Honorable Patrick F. Caruso. The Honorable Vicki Cooper. The 
Davis. The Honorable Lynn Alvey Dawson. The Honorable Jennifer J. DeCastro Tenard. The Honorable Karen L. DiMiola. The Honorable Paul R. Doyle. The Honorable Daniel J. Fox. The Honorable Matthew LaRock. The Honorable Ann F. Lawler. The Honorable Walter A. Menavar. The Honorable Yamini Menon. The Honorable Thomas J. O'Neill. The Honorable Richard J. Rubino. The Honorable Thomas J. Soddy. The Honorable Sharon A. Skyers. The Honorable Emily H. Wagner. The Honorable Jason C. Welch. The Honorable Jacqueline B. Kersoulis. Kersoulis. And last but not least, the Honorable Charlene W. Spencer. Thank you. So we, we all recognize that becoming a judge and a magistrate is an honor and a privilege, an accomplishment for which you should be proud. Your family and friends are proud as well, and for many years they provided the support and encouragement that you needed. Now they will be your support as you start your new career. So at this time, I ask the new Superior Court judges and magistrates to stand and join us in giving your family and friends a round of applause. deserved. So I'd like to conclude this, cer this cer ceremony by thanking Governor Lamont for being here today. I ask that the guests remain in, this, in the room for about five minutes or so. All the new judges and magistrates are going to go to what's called, I guess, the Hall of Fame and have a group picture taken with the governor. So give them a few minutes to do that and then you may be dismissed. But judges and family support magistrates, you are free to go get your picture taken. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you all for attending and congratulations. <laughs>